Hello everybody, this is Thor Young. I'm a moderator with Bearable Traders and I'd like to do a recap for you on my trades today. Um, I took a few different trades today. The one that I want to highlight today is MU. I actually caught a couple of really sweet reversals on the airlines today. Um, just big sell off overall in the sector and I got the bottom of it. Got a nice couple bucks out of that. Um, but specifically I want to draw your attention here to MU. Um, MU is, uh, was just absolutely fantastic to me today. Um, I shout out and kudos to the Squawk Box. Um, of course, um, for all of y'all that are members of the Bearable Traders, you get to use the Squawk Box included with your membership. Um, we love the Squawk Box because it gives us breaking news right when it happens. Um, and it gives us the opportunity to get some really, really great trades that we weren't otherwise expecting. So MU for me was not on my list today at all. I was actually trading the uh, the travel sector and um, I was looking for anything to happen. All of a sudden over my headset that I'm wearing, um, I get a little squawk box pop over and it you know talks about some new guidance on MU, some new analytics, some new fundamental changes and that um, you know volume was coming in, things were looking really strong. So I quickly flipped over, and of course I'm in the chat room at this time in BBT, so I actually took this trade with everybody else in the chat room. Um, Andrew actually was in there, he took this trade, and we had a bunch of people that got taken. So and the hard part for me was actually not rushing into it. So sometimes with these news trades, you can get faked out, so you got to be real careful with them. So as you can see, exactly when the news came in, you can see MU just exploded up. So now it did this little pullback here, and I was really wanting to get in right here, but I had an issue, which is if I got in long here, my stop loss would have been the loss of a level that was just a really bit too far away, and MU was really, really wicking around. I mean, it was bouncing all over the place as the volume was just going crazy. So I, I needed a better entry. So I actually let MU get away from me a little bit and I was waiting for a pullback and naturally I got a pullback to my favorite level which is pre-market high. Love pre-market high, love pre-market low. Those levels work great for me all the time. Um, the rest of these levels, um, I actually got them from Carlos and the gang. They always throw these out there. Did the same thing they did. I went and pulled them off the daily really quick. So what you can see is we pulled back to pre-market high. I went long there and that gave me my really nice um, risk reward opportunity. So I can now manage a 20 cent risk. Um, I went in pretty well and got some great, great partials all the way up. Um, allowed it to consolidate, got another partial here. Um, and it pulled back, hopefully about to get another partial. Yes, what an awesome trade and you ended up being today. Um, hold on, let me move my stop to break even. So the trade here consolidated here. Um, it was holding this level, so I went long here. My stop was basically the loss of this range here. We had a big push down, but then we, we popped up here. Partial of $48. So now I'm just holding on to MU and seeing what's in store for me today on MU. Um, MU is in kind of this chop range that it's been in a long time, but I could see this thing trying to make a run for the 100 SMA on the daily today. Um, with the good news, so I'm going to try and relax this position and see if I can roll it into the close, maybe get a nice push into the close. So anyway, um, one of the most important things for trading is follow the news. Look for catalysts. The market is all about supply and demand, so if you can find the stocks where the demand is popping and coming in, it gives you a lot better opportunity for a really, really solid trade. So I hope everybody had a great day, and as always, everybody, keep it green. Thanks.